This is what Ames Leslie loves to do. A firefighter for more than half his life, he's now undergoing chemotherapy. As soon as you hear that C word, that cancer word, your mind just goes, right? And you don't hear anything after that. Last summer, the World Health Organization found that firefighting directly contributes to cancer risk. Firefighters breathe in toxins. Their skin absorbs them too. All our firefighters have their own lockers. They have wildland firefighting gear. And this equipment, even it's part of the problem. All manufacturers claim that they have the best gear, but it's all loaded with chemicals that are killing firefighters. The gear is supposed to protect us, not kill us. The Weyburn Fire Department is a leader in Saskatchewan when it comes to cancer prevention. For example, it stocks extra gear to swap out, but even it falls short. There are no showers. They're cross-contaminating their vehicle, their house, their laundry machine. Lee says the lack of money is stopping them and other departments from doing more. And if a firefighter gets cancer, workers' compensation varies across the country. This Regina firefighter is waiting for biopsy results from a mass on his thyroid. If it's thyroid cancer, he won't be covered under workers' compensation in his home province. That's because it's not one of the cancers Saskatchewan presumes to be tied to firefighting. If I lived three hours down the road in Brandon, Manitoba, I would be covered. So the discrepancy is, is frustrating and not fair. The types of cancer covered by workers' compensation varies province to province. It really bothered me that, you know, how could someone who's doing the same job in one province be covered but not in another province? This Liberal MP introduced a bill now making its way through the Senate to push for parity in workers' compensation coverage across Canada in both prevention and treatment. Nicholas Frew, CBC News, Regina.